if we go by the history, India has just managed to win uh, one game out of the seven times. They Ashi can support. Into the gap for Sahal. Sahal passed one. Trying to set up Suril Chetri. Wonderful footwork. Entertainer in chief. But now India have to fall back. Here comes Alfaran. Looks like an Alfarari at times. Here's Matuk on the turn and just over. And now they will make India think and build and defend because Matuk is on the run. Here's Zine. A disappointing end to that attack. The reality is that there have to be more chances as well up front and hopefully the likes of Chante and Nikhil Pujari will be able to create some wonderful touch. Here comes Chante in towards Chetri! A powerful example of what India can do if they are allowed to express the score sheet. When we call it a game of two halves, this is exactly why Chante, who's been missing throughout the game, proves to be the difference as of right now. The teamwork between Nikhil Pujari, Chante and Sunil leading to the opener. Great work there by Chante to find Nikhil there and then through the legs of uh, the defender, Nikhil finds Chante again to provide a sitter for Chetri. Now there's distance, now there's a cushion. We knew Mahesh would be the dangerous man, but we forgot all about Chante. Chante proving to be at the right place again and carrying India forward and building the lead again. Doubling the lead with this finish. We spoke of him in the first half not being there and second half he is there where he's meant to be. Ali al -Hajj. Onto his right side, Al Hajj drives it wide. In in some space, immediately looking up, two running into the box for Lebanon. And the attempt high from Matuk, Lebanon's best chance of the evening. Subashish towards Mahesh. Oh! Well said! And they've defended it well. And they have won the Hero Intercontinental Cup. India have beaten Lebanon. Six clean sheets in a row. Equaling a record from 1951-52. Two goals in the final. One for Chetri, one for Chante. Blue Tiger.